friends welcome to this video on constructions in our previous video we discussed the construction of a triangle construction of such a triangle where the length of the base side a base angle and the difference of the other two sides is given we divided the difference of the sides in two cases case 1 when the side formed from the base angle is larger than the other side and case 2 when the side formed from the base angle is smaller than the other side and in the previous video we understood the construction according to case 1 in this session we will understand the construction of a triangle according to case 2 let's again see what is case 2 suppose we have a triangle pqr where the length of the base side qr and the measure of the base angle q is given and the difference of the sides pr minus pq is given where pr is greater than pq friends here you can see that side pq formed on the base angle q is smaller than the side pr this is the difference between case 1 and case 2 so let's see the steps for construction of a triangle like this step 1 First of all, with the help of a scale, draw a line segment QR of the given measure. Step two, with the help of a protractor, by making an angle Q from the vertex Q, draw a ray QX. Step three, we will now extend QX in the opposite direction and name this ray as QX dash. Step four, with the help of a compass. Taking a distance equal to the difference of the value of PR minus PQ, mark an arc on QX dash. Step five. We will now join the points S and R. Step six. Draw the perpendicular bisector of line segment SR. we name this perpendicular bisector as yz you can see that yz is intersecting line xx dash at point p step 7 now we will join points p and r and friends in this way the formed triangle pqr is the required triangle which we wanted to draw now let's check our construction for this We will have to show that the difference of the two sides PR minus PQ will be equal to the given difference SQ. We see that point P is equidistant from points S and R because this point P is located on the bisector of the line segment SR. Therefore, PS will be equal to PR. Let's call this equation as equation one. and the line segment ps is formed by joining two line segments pq and sq so ps equals pq plus sq we can write it like this as well or sq equals ps minus pq using equation 1 we can write it like this also sq is equal to pr minus pq that is the length of side sq is equal to pr minus pq therefore Our construction is correct. So friends, with this let's end this video. In this session, we learned the construction of a triangle where the length of the base side, one base angle and the difference of the other two sides is given. Now let's meet in the next video with some questions related to this construction. Thank you.